So this Alexis Sanchez stuff is happening very, very fast at the moment. Manchester United, Manchester City, and now Chelsea all being linked with a move for him. What I'm going to do is provide you all the latest updates on this Sanchez rumours. It's happened in the last 12 hours. There's a lot to get through. Let's get straight into it. Now, the first major update came last night from BBC reporter David Ornstein. Now, he is considered one of the most reliable journalists as far as Arsenal news is concerned. So he is the main person we are going to listen to as far as this Sanchez story goes. Last night, he said that City were officially out of the running for Alexis Sanchez because they refused to pay more than £20 million to Arsenal for Alexis Sanchez and they were not willing to make him their highest earner at the club because of fears that it would upset the likes of Gabriel Jesus, Kevin De Bruyne, Leroy Sane, their existing squad. So Man City have been financially outmuscled in a transfer. I find that fucking hilarious. Man City of all clubs, they helped make this crazy market with their oil money. All of a sudden they've got a moral compass and they don't want to pay too much for Alexis Sanchez. What a turn of events that is. Man United have come in, slapped it on the table, and Man City are now out of it. And as Gary Neville said in a comment on Twitter, this has got nothing to do with Man City all of a sudden having a new ethos towards transfers. They've simply pulled out of it. They were willing to pay 60 million for Sanchez with one year left on his contract in the summer. Now they're not willing to pay 20 million and his wages. But the interesting part from David Ornstein is the fact that he mentions Chelsea. Chelsea are reportedly in for Sanchez now at the last knockings. I don't really know why Chelsea weren't in for Alexis Sanchez the whole time. Because, you know, they've got Alvaro Morata who's misfiring. You've got Mitsu Batshuayi who's a poor striker. And other than that, they haven't got a striker. Sanchez already lives in London. That's going to be Chelsea's biggest lure. And for me, the only lure. We can offer better wages. We can offer better money to Arsenal. And I think we can offer better title aspirations. Because I think things are going downhill now under Antonio Conte. Three nil-nil draws since Mourinho beat him in the mind games. But Chelsea reportedly in for Sanchez as well. But crucially, Man City, bye bye you can't afford Sanchez. Now the second major update from David Ornstein comes on Tuesday morning when he is reporting that Man United have agreed personal terms with Alexis Sanchez and with Arsenal. So that's the fee and the wages both agreed. But the sticking point is a certain Armenian midfielder, Henrik Mkhitaryan. Now, all the reports in the last 24 hours have suggested that Mkhitaryan is going to be included as part of this deal. Now, Ornstein is reporting that sources close to Mkhitaryan say that no deal is close, that he doesn't really want to be part of this deal, which would see him go to Arsenal and would see Alexis Sanchez come to Manchester United. Says that Mkhitaryan is in absolutely no rush to make a decision and that the transfer could effectively hinge on whether or not the Armenian midfielder moves in the other direction. If I was Mkhitaryan, I, I would clearly see at that point that Jose Mourinho does not want you in, your plan, in his plans anymore. And I, I genuinely do think that Mkhitaryan, if he stayed, could still be a great player for Manchester United. But it's clear for me now that Mkhitaryan is not in his plans. So Mkhitaryan is being used as a make-weight in this transfer. Mkhitaryan, mate, I think you should take the hint. You know, I, as I said, I do think he can still be a great player for United. And I do think he can be a good player for Arsenal as well. But if Mourinho doesn't want you in your plans, you're not in the plans. So stop holding up the transfer. And another snippet that happened last night, Anthony Martial, his name was getting banded around as being part of any sort of deal that would see Sanchez come to Old Trafford. And he absolutely slapped it down. He said, I am not even slightly interested in moving to Arsenal. And then last night, he put in a wonderful performance, scored an absolute blinder to make it 2-0 to Manchester United. Martial going absolutely nowhere. Sorry, Arsenal fans. The only player that we were willing to let you have is Henrik Mkhitaryan. And that's if you let us have your best player, Alexis Sanchez. So the latest updates today, big, big updates. Man City, they are out of the running for Alexis Sanchez. The poor, poor Man City can't afford him. Oh, what a shame. Chelsea are reportedly in for Sanchez. This could be simply Man City leaking to the press that Chelsea are involved and interested because it would drive the price up for Manchester United. But as far as I'm concerned, I don't know why Chelsea haven't always been in for Sanchez. So it wouldn't surprise me if Antonio Conte and Chelsea are making a late bid for him. But as far as I'm concerned, the only reason he would join Chelsea is the lure of staying in London. If that's as strong as some are reporting that it is, then maybe Sanchez will be joining Chelsea. But with City out of the running and United already agreeing personal terms, 
All that move hinges on is Henrik Mkhitaryan agreeing a deal with Arsenal. Once that happens, everything is done. And Man United are free to sign Alexis Sanchez in January. Christ, I did not think I would be saying that. But what do you think of this whole thing? Should we be letting Mkhitaryan go? Are you worried that he could be joining Chelsea? Let me know in the comments as always. If there's any more major updates, I'll bring them to you. Until next time though, take it easy.